Welcome one and all to this 19th episode of D&D with me, Mike. And me, Zoe. And today we are going to be doing more animation, I believe. So we got a little character. He runs. He runs a bit weird, but he does run. Uh, and uh, he falls into the water. No, he's in the water. He swims, which is nice. Um, again, <laughs> kind of weird because we don't have straight swimming. So he swims forward. We're going sideways. Uh, one thing we could probably do is actually go in the direction. You said ray casting. Yeah, we need to ray cast down because when we're here, what you get is this weird jitter. Because the character is actually colliding with both the wall and the ground. And he can't decide whether he's grounded or watered. Now he's definitely watered. We also need to give an extra animation for going up the steps. Because he goes up the steps. Because he's idle the... swimming up the steps. Yeah, and we also need to jump, right? So there's a few things. But the jump do. hasn't been coded. Yeah, I know. There's a few things we need to do. And in order to do them, we're going to do one simple ray cast that goes uh, from the center of our body to down. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's begin with that. Uh, so. Should we make this a bit bigger? Bigger what? Like bigger. Uh, hold control. By one. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> so consider it. All right. So let's see what the situation is here. Row movement. Blah blah blah. Look at, uh, etc. We shouldn't be able to move in the air. I would think, while we're jumping. So the jump itself is going to, basically hold us still, and we're going to just fall in the water so it's something that we need to sort of keep in consideration right um, mm -hmm. let's see uh, so for the state let's create a private bull grounded so, let's see. right so let's see what we got here we got on collision stay and if you're a terrain, you're grounded. And if you're a rest, you're watered. <laughs> but that's okay. The point is you're still not in the air. So actually, let's change this one to something like flying. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Save. So we got flying. And uh, so if we touch the ground and we're not on the ground, we're going to say flying equals false. There we go. Save and copy this. The same goes for this. Save. Okay. Right. And if so, as soon as we touch any of these, we go not not flying anymore. Right? Yeah. Because. So we're gonna need this raycast with, and we're gonna use it all the time. So we might as well. Uh, well we could create it on the fly. I don't think it would be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Let's create the private ray. And call it uh, down ray, something like that. Ray. Yeah, semicolon. Private ray cast hit. Yeah, and down hit. Semicolon. Save. Okay, so we got the ray and the hit. So we begin by casting the ray and we're going to do it before all of this. So here you go. If I oh know my bad. First we're going to create that ray. So ray or whatever we called it, down ray I think there equals new ray. New ray open round. Now, what parts do we need for a ray? We need an origin and a direction. Well, that's fairly simple. The origin is, is the player. Is the player, so it's going to be transformed off position. And the direction is vector three dot down. Yep. Dot down. Yeah. Down. Close. There. Now we got the ray. Now, if open round physics. Down tab dot raycast hit 
Now Raycast, yes, open round. Now this one is complicated, it's got loads of options. Right, so first of all we can feed it the ray. So feed it down ray. And yeah, so wait, comma, and now out a space and it's down hit, I think we call it. There, comma. Now, maximum distance, there needs to be a certain maximum distance. We don't quite know what it is, but I'm assuming two or three would be sufficient. Let's go with five, so hit five F, comma, layer mask. Okay, now game game manager has loads of layer masks, so let's go with game manager dot script, dot script, yeah, dot, and mask, type mask and we'll see. Uh, oh, rather layer, type the word layer. So we got enemy layer, obstacle layer, player layer, explorers, and check layer. So none of these are what we want. Okay, so let's He's go. He's an egg new one. Yeah, probably. So let's see here. Yeah, I don't see any layer with sort of like surfaces. So call it public layer mask. Yeah, surfaces layer or surface layer. Semicolon. Copy this. Let's go to the player and paste it right here. Close the round. Close the round again. Open a squiggle. Hit enter again. Close, close, say save. Okay, so I've just realized that the, I don't know what happened here, that the distance is too high. So we need to go down just a bit, not too far. Okay? Because we need to be able to return a false, meaning there's nothing we're hitting. If there's nothing we're hitting, that's where we jump. Okay? So, uh, let's go take a look at our player prefab. Hmm? It's unhappy. I think that's wrong. Just save and then we'll be happy. <clears throat> See? Should it's be happy. It. There. Player. Okay, so here's our player. Now the player's base is right here. Okay? Yeah. So that means it's on the ground. So we need to raycast down from here. It's just a little bit risky because uh, it may go through the object. So we're going to cast from a bit further up. We're going to give it a small bias up and then we're going to cast down by a certain distance. Now let's say half I think would be pretty good. So how tall is our, is our player? Let's see. So the avatar is down at 0.5. That means the avatar is one tall. So if we go from the center of the avatar, one down, we're guaranteed to stop in the middle. So that should be fairly safe. Okay. Okay. So physics ray cast down ray. Um, if we hit anything, then it, it doesn't matter. I mean, we can say flying equals false if you want, but nah, no, let's leave it alone because the collider will take care of that. Okay. Um, so put an exclamation mark here. That means, save, that means we're hitting nothing. Now technically speaking, this down hit then is not particularly useful to us. The distance is obviously too much. One, transform position is wrong. We need to go up by half. So plus vector three dot up times 0.5. Save. Right? So we're going up by 0.5. All right, good. And then we're casting down by 1. I like that. That should be safe. <clears throat> now, if we don't hit anything, that means it's time to jump. Right? So we're going to say flying. Equals true. Yeah. We also need to do another thing. So here we need to say if not flying. Because you don't want to do this every frame. Yeah, not flying. Close round, open a squiggle, and close it here. Oops, extra plus. Save. So before we do flying equals true, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call a method we're gonna call jump. Okay? okay. So here you can call it void, jump. Open close round, open squiggle, save. Okay. So what's going to happen now is we're gonna add a uh, we're gonna add a velocity to a rigid body immediately that goes on the y-axis and it goes up. Uh, now let me read what, what we're doing here. So 
the velocity y we're gonna leave alone okay that's good that means the gravity is still working it's doing its job yeah so we're not touching gravity that's fine all of these things are happening so we can move uh well we should be able to look at in any direction while flying right so that should be fine this one though needs to be blocked so here we're gonna say if not flying Close round, open the squiggle, close it here, save. All right, so that should work. Now on jump, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rigid body velocity, copy, paste, and go a dot y equals, and just type one f, semicolon. So it's not gonna let you because it's not a variable. So we need to modify it in a different way. We're gonna to need to say velocity equals new vector three. Open round. And here you're gonna say rb dot velocity dot x. Comma. And this one is gonna be say one f. We're gonna then comma again. And then rb dot velocity dot z. So we're leaving the x and the and the z alone, but we are modifying the y with an arbitrary value. And here you can say fly and equals true. So we need to call this function. True. Yes. We need to call this function, copy it. We need to call it in here. Open close, semicolon. Perfect. So now that'll turn flying into true and also do this particular thing. We're probably going to have an animation, so here's where we're going to do that. We also need to be, make a button for jumping. <laughs> no, the jumping will be automatic like Zelda. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you reach an edge, you jump. Now. <clears throat> but what about if you want to jump you off can't. of the edge? There's no jumping in the game. Okay. Which is just fine. There's, there's many games like that. Howdy. I'm just saying hi to one member of our audience. All right, so. Now, um, what f uh, is arbitrary? Let's give ourselves a value here. So you can just copy this entire thing, paste it here, and call this one jump strength. Just type the word jump. Yeah. Put a one, save, copy. Stick it and jump. Save. All right, so if we're not hitting anything, we're gonna go flying. If we're flying, we can't move. When we land, we will not be flying anymore. Simple, should should work. Let's let's give this a fun test, and let's see how it works. Then let's. Now one may or may not be sufficient. Okay, I can't move at all. This we must mean stuck. I am flying right now. Oh, we're missing the masks. We forgot to assign the mask on the game manager, so it doesn't know what we're supposed to collide with. Water is one, and the other one is ground. That's it. I guess we could also do obstacle. So if there's some kind of obstacle, you can walk on it. Okay, we can move now. Okay, so I think it's worked. I don't know if we've actually jumped. Uh, it's hard to see, especially without any audio feedback. Yeah, so there is a bit of a jump. Let's just quickly remove maximize and play and make sure we're happy with that trajectory because it doesn't look too interesting. But who knows? Okay, here we go. He's in the ground a bit. That's fine. Okay, so no, definitely that jump looks insufficient to me. Uh oh. You're stuck? Looks that way. Not sure why. So. I'd like to visualize that ray, but I'm fairly sure it's working, so somehow it's not hitting the ground? I don't understand. Hmm. Let's put a security measure here. I'm not sure why this is happening. Um, because it's on collision state, so it should be working. That's a bit strange. Um, so for now, let's simply tell it. Here, put an else. Open a squiggle, hit enter twice, close round, save, and here you go, if flying, 
close row, over through, save, and just say flying equals not flying, or flying equals false. Fly on equals false. Semicolon. Okay. So I'm a bit weirded out by what has happened there. That didn't make an enormous amount of sense, at least not to me. Let's see now. Okay, so it's happy to go. Flying. Does his little silly jump, swims, hops up the steps, walks. Okay, so the jump definitely looks inadequate to me. Uh, what does that mean? Not high enough. Let's give um, a higher jump strength, like five. I don't know how much that's going to be. Wow, you can jump from island to island, which is cool. Yeah, but it's too far. So it's not too bad, but it's too far. It's funny how his legs kick in the air. Look, he's still running. So jumping, for example, between one box and another, I don't have a problem with like this, for example. That's pretty good. Okay, that makes sense. So, two. It's pretty good. The physics... So, okay, you can jump over two blocks. Are we happy with that? I think it's fine. Uh, it's an important decision, because it will uh, change the way the level design works. Yeah, we can't put two blocks. That's not bad, so... Oh, hello. Well, hi. Damn Ouch, yourself. I got hurt. So, yeah, so you, if you put two blocks like that, it's actually possible to jump over. Which yeah. I don't think is that bad. I think it's pretty cool. But here on three, we shouldn't be able to. Let's see if that's the case. That's Can't right. do it. Weird how... We got stuck in the wall. Yeah, it's because you can keep pushing, I think. I th ah, that's right. The so the con con we are making contact with the wall, right? And therefore, flying is going to falls, etc. Right. So we would need to. We would need to stay in contact with the water and and also the ray cast should hit the ground in order for that to to be a positive result. And yeah, touching the thing in and of itself should not be sufficient. Right, so this isn't sufficient, but you can see basically what's happening now is that technically we are grounded. Right? I yeah. think because the ray cast is probably hitting the sea. Right? Even though yeah, so the ray cast is probably going too far. Alright, so what we're gonna do is instead of this down by one, we're gonna say how far we're gonna go with another variable. Uh so copy this entire thing, paste it, and go uh ray cast down ray down length length yeah. and here put 0.6 save see if this is enough it should be but it's still not going to work perfectly because flying is being turned off too soon ha. hmm that was odd Okay, it looks pretty good. That was nice. Uh -huh. It's swimming up. It's good too, but the problem is going into here. See, now he's sort of halfway in the air. Let's quickly check what the situation is. So, the collider of the water is down here. All he's right. not touching it. No, I know, but we can't see that ray. So that's a bit of an issue. So here what you're going to do is you're going to go debug.log, uh, rather debug.draw ray, open round, and uh, it's going to be downray.origin, 
origin, comma, tab, comma, down ray, dot direction, multiplied by, ah, I know what's happening, we forgot uh, this, copy, paste it here, and paste it here, and then go comma, and color dot red. You need to learn to hit tab every now and then because it's ridiculous. You type every single letter and you're wrong half the time. Say, right, you need to just type C and it will be like, let's see, C, okay, that's cash, co, call lab, call, oh, there it is. This is not a particularly effective one, but if you type it lowercase, it's uppercase, so at least it's fixed. Okay. All right, save. Now you you type the entire word direction, right? That's I think the letter D was sufficient. All right, so let's go now. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Are we gonna fix the grass at some point? Probably. Okay, so that I think already helped immensely. Yeah, so we hit the wall and then we sort of stumbled down. Yeah, and now it's still fighting for which animation it should go with, right? It doesn't know. Okay, yeah, that, that's a bit better. Now, let's deal with this problem of... Uh, the animation? Yes, so the issue that we've got is... Uh, that there's a sort of an inconsistency between that and this. So one thing we're going to do is we're simply going to remove this here and save. Now, um, yeah, let me think. So for this, actually, I think the best would probably be to move all of this in this area over here. So instead of doing this here, right, we're going to do it on the other side. Uh, here it checks the ground, etc. Um, yeah, here we could do. Yeah, it's, it's kind of useful. This set integer terrain state ground. So we could do it right here. It's a bit risky, but we could do it right here. And but we would need to save. No, we know the terrain state, so that's fine. So here you can go switch, tab twice, tab switch again, stop, tab twice, okay, and now copy this, paste, enter, enter. All right, so <clears throat> if we hit the water or the ground when we stop flying, which depends on the ray cast we're going to cut this so this is for the ground paste it and cut this and this is for the water paste it save so when we stop flying and we land we can land either in water or in ground and save and we're gonna land in one of the two and when we do uh, this contact should happen now one thing that worries me a little bit is uh, the way we've done with the day ray down length um, so let's copy this again paste it go ray down displacement mm -hmm, save now this one's gonna be 0.5 save and their ray down length we're gonna do 0 0.5 save now, what this means is we're gonna add the displacement to the length, and you'll see how. So copy the displacement. Let's go and use it right here, paste, save. So that's the ray being displaced up. And ray down length, uh, we don't need this debug log anymore, so we can remove it, save. Ray down length is insufficient. It's gonna be ray down length plus displacement, save. Um, and that's the length of the ray. Now, this is now a tiny, tiny, tiny bit higher than the other one, okay? So let's uh, go back to here. And I forgot, I think, to change 
the player's settings for the jump, but that's okay because we need to do a bunch of changes. So ray down length, that's good. Ray down displacement, that's good. Jump strength uh, needs to be two. Save. Um, yeah. Throw inertia, multiply, sure, whatever, that's fine. Okay. So a jump of two, I believe, was the one that allowed, it, allowed us to go all the way over. Yep. The two spaces, but not the three one. That looks pretty good, except we're still running. Oh, yeah. As opposed to swimming. Which is an interesting, strange problem. Now we're still running, not swimming. And idle. Hmm, that's odd. Uh, maybe, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. So the issue here is we touched uh, the ground. B. Um, what? Before we touch the water? No, 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 no. Basically, the ray cast has decided we're not flying while we weren't in contact with the ground yet. Excuse me, water. And because of that, we get this issue over here. So, what we gotta do is decide where to put these two triggers, right? And I've got a better idea now. So, let's cut them. We're gonna put them inside the ground again here. And then this one, we're gonna cut it. We're gonna put it right here again. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say if. Wait, I think these are the same. You could have just copied one and pasted. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, because terrain state changes. So here you go. If. They're both terrain state. If. If. Not flying. Mm hmm. Close round, open a squiggle. Yep. All right, save, cut this, uh, paste it here. I know, paste it here again. Save, I meant to save copy, but I said cut. All right, so if not flying, then, then change. If you are flying, then don't change anything, right? Whatever is going on, don't change the animation. Let's see again. Now next, we're gonna create a jumping animation and then a climbing up the stairs animation. So let's see now. We should not change the animation until we hit the ground. And now it we're is swimming. now swimming. But you see, he's still making crazy decisions. He doesn't know what to do, uh, and that's quite interesting because it only depends on the on the ray. So we've got a problem with this flying. Uh, so flying is working as it's supposed to, but obviously you are touching both at the same time so it goes mental and it doesn't know what you're doing what to do right so one is one answer that we've got to this is save instead of instead of uh just flying we can get the information from the ray and go uh what the ray's um uh direction is um, now, let me think this through for a second. So one thing we can do is take this terrain state and copy it, paste it, and call it down ray, down ray, capital T, yeah, save, copy. So depending on whether we touch or we don't touch, uh, instead, yeah, we're gonna remove this flying. That's what we're gonna do. Wait, just I'm gonna kill it from here. Save. Okay, now we're gonna get a bunch of errors, and that's just fine. So paste here. Uh, remove this, and go equals equals space tab dot none. Save. So if it's none, we're gonna we're gonna jump. Uh, well, not flying actually if it's not none. So exclamation mark none. Save. Okay. Now jump. Inside jump. We're gonna say paste equals. Whoops. And press tab. Yeah, go backwards a couple times here. Type equals dot none. Semicolon. Save. Okay. Now uh, here you go. Uh, paste again. Remove the exclamation mark and go exclamation mark equals no or equals equals tab dot none. There it is. 
Save. Press space. Copy exactly. this entire thing. Paste it here. Save. Uh, and this is going to be wrong almost certainly. I'm just sort of fixing every error for now. Paste. Save. And paste. So if it's none, it's got to be something else. Uh, save. There is no real way for us to know, but we do have the down hit. So that one will let us know, which is quite nice. So here we go. Uh, in fact, wait a moment, we don't even need to check this. Yeah, remove this and go if, open round, down hit, that's it, dot. Uh, what do we got? Point, normal, distance, collider. So there is a collider, we could use that. Uh, which should then give us access to the, to the... Oh, we have the transform, so I quite like that. Now wait a moment, we want the layer. So we're gonna copy exactly the same system. So copy this, paste it here. Ah, control B and save control. Hit control V again. Okay, now C obviously doesn't exist. It's gonna be copy paste, uh, transform, dot, game object, that went well, yeah. save, okay, so we got the layer of the game object, so if it's ground, we go to this, if it's not, we go to that, now what we're going to do here is we're going to remove all of this, and we're going to remove all of this, and here we're going to say, copy, Paste equals tab dot ground semicolon. Copy the entire thing, paste it, type W, tab, save. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to the water or into the ground, and the down ray terrain is going to be ground or whatever. Right, so here, if the terrain state is not ground, right, uh, and then we're going to say end to ends. And then, and then down ray state uh, down ray train state equals equals train state dot ground save it's a bit odd this logic but okay copy all of this paste it here say w tab okay so basically if we are our, our ground ray has detected we're in the water and we are colliding with the water but the terrain state is not water um go to the terrain state water and uh, animate shift tab forward. shift tab one more uh copy this entire thing paste it here save Right, so we're only gonna make this change when we know we're grounded. And that should work because then the other one, right? For example, when we're in the water swimming and you know how we're touching the wall and we start shaking. Let's think about that logically. So we would have a down range state that is water and we would have a terrain state that is not water. Oh, bums. Bec yeah, that is not water, so it would do this. But then you collide with the wall and the down range state is not ground, right? And therefore, this is not passed as a condition. So this condition doesn't matter because it's an end. This means both conditions need to be fully uh, successful and only one of them will be. So technically, it we shouldn't get any bouncy, bouncy, crazy stuff. But I cannot move now. Uh, all right, let's go take a look at what's happening here to our logic. So if down ray state is terrain state none, then don't move. Down ray state should not be terrain state none. Down hit should definitely be hidden a thing. Um, type debug.log. Copy this entire thing. Paste it. Close. Semicolon. All right, so let's see now what happens. We're gonna we're gonna get something. I don't know what we're gonna get. Ten. Okay. 
So if we're getting 10, it should be ground. So the range state, down, down terrain state should be ground. Save. So we know that that's correct. So we should get here. I'm a bit confused. The range state is definitely ground. Uh, downray physics, downray train state. How does it get to none? It's definitely down. I mean, it's definitely ground. I'm a bit confused. Let's try one more time, but I don't think it's going to change anything. So, yeah, I can't move. Yep. Okay. So this must result into none. Okay. Oh, pff, exclamation mark. Say, if it's not none, then we're doing it. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> what's wrong? I don't know. Your logic is backwards. That's what's wrong, banana. All right, so here we go. Fellas running. Fellas Maybe. jumping. Fellas Still is... walking. Oh, that's annoying. He's definitely still walking. And then instantly he goes into swimming mode. I don't understand. So this should result into... Touching the ground, but yeah, the, the other one should be something else. Okay, let's debug log those 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 things. We're gonna do it in update, which comes after. Okay, update actually comes after physics update and on collision stay. So we wanna see what the situation is here. So here you go, debug.log, open round, and here you go, down ray, whatever you call it, or the boon and then everything goes bad. Down, ray terrain state, space, quote, uh, plus first, actually, plus, quote, space, vs. What? vs, versus, space, quote, space, plus, space, uh, terrain state, whatever it's called. There, close round, semicolon, save, all right. So now we're going to see in update what happens to our status do, do, do. so it's ground versus ground let's collapse it so it's easy to read all right so ground versus ground okay both of them are ground that's exactly as it should be now for a bit we should have none versus ground water versus ground yeah so water versus water was correct but i saw water versus ground for a bit yeah there was a water versus ground so water versus ground therefore our down ray is water, but our other ray is ground. Uh, excuse me, our collision is ground, which is fine. So ground is winning over, I'm guessing. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's change the logic here. So the type switch, hit tab twice, copy this, paste it, say uh, enter, save. Okay, delete default, delete none, save. Okay, so if the down ray tells us we're grounded, save. We're gonna check if we are colliding with this guy. Uh, well, we're going to check if terrain state is not ground. So if terrain state not tab, tab dot ground, tab, okay, and copy this, paste it, equals equals 10, 10, close around. Open a squiggle here and twice. So, all right, so we know we're already grounded there. If the terrain terrain state of the collider, which probably we named that one's collider terrain state, but whatever, uh, is not ground, and we've hit the ground, then we need to change the terrain state to ground in this. So cut this. I'm not sure this is going to make a difference, frankly. Copy all of this. And paste stick it there. here. Say water, 
be much faster if you type W tab. And this one is a four. one four. And now we can delete this entire thing. Save. Okay. Now let's see if this is going to be a bit better. But I have my doubts. Um, Wait, we should... you can still move? Well, yeah. Um... Oh, think... no, that looked better. I don't think you actually jumped. Hey, it's working. Yeah, sort of. That looked better. Nope. Nope. So you can still walk straight into the wall. And then run. And now he's swimming. So... One alternative option would be to simply rely on our down ray and ignore this on collision state completely, which I think could be a good idea. So let's take a look at our fixed update and see if we can improve this. So here, yeah, it says, so if you're, if you're hitting the ground, right, and you down ray, we could say if down ray was not ground, then we could change to ground. I think that would probably help us. So here we can say if, no, actually, remove the if. We're literally going to do it all the time. Just to make absolutely sure we're fine. Ah, oh, no, we need to do it only once. My bad. <laughs> if down ray train state is not train state dot ground close round. Open a spiegel. Get into it closer. <gasps> mm hmm. Save. And actually, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. No, I've got another idea. We're going to make a change here. Shift tab. Save. Can we actually check the status of the animation? I think we can, but I can't remember how. Hmm. Ah, rubbish. Undo. Undo again. And again. And again. And again. Save. All right, so let's just keep it here. Because this is the reason... Copy. The reason why this isn't safe enough, okay, save, paste, is because um, you could have this occur once and then this doesn't happen somehow for whatever other, other reason, right? But I think we're going to solve it in a completely different way, meaning when we land, right, the moment we land, we're going to play a landing animation of some sort, okay, and that's going to then transition directly into whatever the terrain state is. Okay. So we're not going to need this trigger. Anyway, copy this entire thing. Paste it here. W tab and W tab. Save. All right. Now we completely bypass this guy. Save. Should we defeat, delete the function completely? Uh, we may use it at some point, but sure. Save. Say if we do smoke coming out of our feet while we run. It's probably going to be quite fun. It's ground versus ground at the moment. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter anymore. And he's still running. He's just running now. What the heck? Yeah, that's because it's only happened once. That's the issue. That's what bothers me. Because I know it's going to eventually happen like that. And we're going to have this problem. Um, okay, now let's remove this terrain state completely. Uh, we've got one terrain state apparently. Aha, that's why. Copy. Oh, sorry about that. Paste and paste. Save. Now wait a moment. Let's test this again because this could work. We were using the wrong terrain state, so we were constantly in ground while it was never being modified because that is a bit of a banana. That is a poodle. <sighs> Spinneroo. There we go. Now we swim in our life. <laughs> <laughs> the idling of the ladder, which is funny. I like it how he idles or swims or whatever it is. There. Okay, this looks semi-reliable, I would say. Running in the air is fine. It looks like Yoshi when he's kicking his legs and he does the high jump. I guess. Yeah, well, I, I would still like to have some kind of jump animation. It'll be fairly similar. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. So... This took us a while, but it's all right. It's done. Now let's go to the models and go to the player and add a jump animation. And then up the ladder animation. I don't know if I'll have the time for both of them. I doubt it. But so a good animation to start from is definitely 
walk. Right? Because he's got this. And this already looks like he's jumping. Yeah. Right? So. Um, Just maybe spread his arms. Yeah. One uh, one thing we need to worry about is he's um, staying in the air animation, but I think we're going to make just a long jump, and then we're going to interrupt it. Let's with, make a new one, I guess. With anything else, yeah. So, add, and immediately foot, and change this one to player jump. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one will stay, everything else will go. Now, one thing we need to do in our jump is we need to immediately be sort of in the air. So this is already pretty good. Um, now, one thing I think we're going to do is we're going to uh, play a bit silly and do a crazy rotation. So rotate here. Uh -huh. Woo! Rotate. And rotate. Rotate. G. Rotate. <laughs> G, rotate, G, rotate. It's very cartoony. G. Mm, rotate it again. And I'll definitely G. And rotate again. No, that's for falling. G. Okay. <laughs> He looks very rotate silly. again. Yeah, I need to make some decisions here. G. Uh, G. Oh, no. I said Escape. R. G. R. There. Rotate. Rotate. G. G. And rotate. Okay, we'll do something like that. And A, A, I. Now let's go directly to somewhere here far. Okay, rotate, 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 G, rotate, G, rotate, G. Okay, and uh, rotate, G, rotate, G, uh, sorry, G, rotate, rotate, G, rotate, G, uh, he looks rotate. Like he's sitting. Rotate, 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 rotate. Okay, A, A, I. So this will go like this. So one problem is obviously one foot is... It is barely moving. It is barely moving, right? So, and it's this one, rotate. I don't know what you did, but you I did press her. G. I. So, how does this look like? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Now, let's see now. Yeah, it's, that's alright. But the other foot is still not moving. It's moving a bit. It's better than nothing. Uh, now, here, what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this one now. G. And rotate this. Okay. I. And then here, we're going to rotate. G. Rotate. Rotate. G. And rotate. G. How bad is it? That's fine. Um, well, rotate. It's so happy. Rotate. Rotate. G. 
G. And rotate, rotate. A, A, I. So now we get this. Okay, now we're going to create a sort of semi-idle here that goes on until 32 or something. Uh, now, I want to just, I want to see how long this feels. Too slow. G. G. Yeah, let's try again. Yeah. Now, the one I don't think I'm too happy about is this one. Yeah, so rotate and rotate. A, A, I. All right, now let's see this. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and we should probably just tilt his head forward. So rotate, I. All right, now shift D to duplicate. Let's bring it forward to 32 or something, 33 actually, so G, two, okay, that should do. Now shift D to duplicate, uh, somewhere in the middle, so here, and G to move, G to move, okay, uh, shift D to duplicate, shift D to duplicate. Uh, actually, no, we're going to deal with this later. This one here, though. Uh, okay, so all we're going to do is just play with him a bit. So rotate, 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 uh, A, A, I. Shift D. So we're doing something very cheap right now. Okay, and 33. Let's see how this looks like. So. See? Yeah. Okay, this arm is clearly borked pretty bad. What is borked? Mean? Broken. Uh, G. I. Shift D. Shift D. G, I, G, R, R, A, A, I, save. Okay, let's see now. Okay, so he's jumping and flying, right? More yeah. or less. That'll do. It's not perfect, but whatever. So we got the whole jump animation. Good. Now, uh, going up the ladder. Well, we'll do it right after. For now, let's just worry about this. So remember the usual thing. Now we got the model over here. It's important things. Now we need to add one. It's not going to be the default take. It's going to be player jump. Player jump does not loop, right? It starts at a point and it ends at another. You can't loop this animation. But we're going to block all of the root node stuff and now we're going to go back to our animator and our animator is going to need uh, from any state it's going to need another uh, apply it's going to need another uh, change right another sort of immediate change with an immediate uh, um, with an immediate trigger okay so we're going to add a new trigger which we're going to call jump hit enter Right, and now we're going to add a new state, which we're going to make empty or something. Uh, and we're going to put it, say, here for now. Uh, rename this one to jump. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it the player jump motion. Okay, and from any state, transition to jump. The transition is going to be super short, super tiny, and it's going to have the jump trigger. And then from there, we're going to make a transition. Uh, we're not going to make any transition. Uh, from any state, we're then going to go into swim cycle. So as we're jumping, we're just going to keep on flying, 
right? And then we're going to get stuck in that flying motion. So just stay there until we reach something and some other trigger changes our position. So mm. give, us, give it a save. Now, that's fairly easy. All we need to do is copy this entire thing. Go into the jump function. Uh, paste it right here. Save. And type jump with a capital J. Oops. Just a J. Save. All right. And now this one should jump. And because he can't rotate. Okay, I didn't see that because it's too small. So we're swimming, which is already good news. There, that looked correct. Yep. So he's jumping into the water or in onto the ground. So let's see how it looks like when we jump over that, that ravine. Oops. <laughs> yeah, and you can rotate, so you can rotate in the air while you're jumped. Yeah. Way. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's okay, we probably need to do something about that anyway. Uh, His sword looks out doink. of place. Doink. It's not a sword. It's just sort of a... This a is where stick. I'm looking. The, the, you can ignore that. It's like it's not there. It, this is where I'm looking. That's what it is. Uh, and we are going to... Uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do, Zoe, next time maybe, is we're going to detach his head... Uh, from the rest of his body? From the rest of his body, uh, I think. So we're going to attach his head to the neck bone, right? But then we're going to rotate the head over top of it or something like that, right? So that the body... Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make the body go in the direction that it wants to go. As opposed to... Uh, you know, going backwards and, and all facing. And sorts of things. So it's always going to look right, hopefully, or rightish. Because now you can jump backwards and he lifts his legs. <laughs> Doink! <laughs> and Bob knows you. That's all right. Splash. Bye bye, Bob. See you later. Try and pick one up and throw it in the water. All right. <gasps> uh oh, something was weird. The boom. I wasn't able to move comfortably while doing that. Let's go take a look. So something was very odd while I while I held the bomb. Yeah, I can only move every now and then. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Oh boy, this is something we need to investigate, see? He's not really moving comfortably. It's like I think he's colliding with the ground or something. Something maybe weird. Maybe the happening. bomb is... it has a weight thing. So maybe it's... That makes no sense, we never programmed it. We had a bomb weight thing when we were throwing it. No, I know, but that's just for throwing. It doesn't apply to anything else. Uh, there may I am almost sure you are weirdly right in the sense that I think it's got to do with the rigid body. Oh, it seems to be going okay now. It's weird. Yeah, I'm having no problems now. Ah, there. It's possible to walk strangely sometimes. Yeah, there, now I got stuck, and, uh, got and he hit. exploded on my head. Yeah, but the jumping is working. Um, you know, we're at the one hour mark. I think this is pretty good. We can probably stop here. Can I try it, though? Sure. <clears throat> First, I'm going to try and jump. Oh, oops. I have jumped backwards. <clears throat> I keep on pressing B instead of A. The switch is tainting you. That is tainting me. It's, uh, it's making you think differently. Taint means it's something complicated. It's like it's a curse. But if I say curse, you don't know what that is either. So. <laughs> bye bye. Huh? Ooh, that was interesting. It like slid underneath. Yeah, we need to blow it up when it touches the water or something. I think it ignores I'm the, the, the bomb up. terrain as well. Boom! <laughs> Double. Double. And now I'm gonna go in the fortress. In the fortress? Okay, sounds good. Now we're gonna stop from here. Mm -hmm. At least you can make precision with this. What do you mean? Like, do exactly this or exactly this 
which is something you can't do with the Switch. But the Switch's controller is rather terrible, I'm afraid. So. Uh, I can pick that thing. Yeah, because you press B. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> In the wall, and I am dead. Dead. I saved. The end. Good. All right. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.